Speaker is Caroline Buca. So please come over, Caroline. Um, so glad to be here to share uh, our experience in Brazil uh, here. And thank you, Jad and George, for invitation. So uh, as I can see, we, we are doing almost not the same thing, but um, many uh, similar things there and here. And uh, it's very nice to see this. Uh, you know, um, today I have learned some things with you that uh, uh, I'm going to share back in Brazil, because I think um, here you, you transform things uh, easier in projects. I think, sorry, it, it was not on, on the initiative. So it's about zombies, so I have <laughs> a gift. I was a little bit scared of zombies, but uh, as I have started working with Carlos, uh, I see zombies in another way, uh, because sometimes we are so stressed and we are acting like zombies. We didn't look like, but in our minds, we seem to be like zombies. So we, have, we need something to waken up, and it's like this model. Uh, it's not only some people talking and other listening. Uh, we're sharing. We go there and we share experiences and idea and the speed dating and the tables. I have met and changed uh, ideas with so many people. And this is the best thing. Uh, this is the way uh, we, I think we have to learn. And this is the way kids want to learn, for sure. We have asked them. So uh, we started um, as who I am. I'm, uh, I like family, I like nature, I like traveling, I, like, um, I love learning, I'm, ve I'm very curious about everything, about life, about people. When I go somewhere, I just love to see people in the places. So this is the best thing for me. And I have uh, seen a big change in London. Uh, we were talking <laughs> that in different points. <laughs> for me, London now is more friendly, it's refresh, it's new. And for some other people, it's the opposite. But I think it's the way we see uh, things. So um, I started working with design thinking. Design thinking in 2010 in Rio. And after that, we have formed a group. It's The Think. And we have built uh, this space in a business school, SP SPM in Rio, uh, because we have a challenge. And in design thinking, you have to do something. You have to put it in practice. So uh, it, it, it ends up with this, uh, this whole place. And they are learning in this space they are now in, here, in Rio. So um, I was living in Rio, near to the beach. Uh, it's the best place in the world. <laughs> it's sunny every day. Uh, people want to play, um, work hard, but play really hard and relax hard also. Uh, but <laughs> I feel like um, with a purpose, I have to go back to South Brazil where we have winter and it's like more European uh, colonization. So it's a little bit more serious and I said I have to go there and I have to share design thinking with them. So uh, I ended up meeting Carlos and we co-founded this group that is called Thinkers Poa. And we um, start projects, uh, collab collaborate projects to to change the city, to change things. And so this is why I was um, talking to the girl uh, with the um, Olympic uh, area. So um, to see how we can change in a more easy way and not asking uh, or just um, expecting politicians to change things. So I think art can help a lot to change people. And we have to change our mindset. So uh, we start doing courses, and this one is uh, design thinking in a boat. So uh, people uh, learn the methodology in theory, and on the other day have to uh, go on a boat and sail. And it was really nice because um, uh, the most of them never have sailed a boat. So you have to do something for the first time in your life. And it's not always that you do something for the first time. Uh, at age, uh, there we are. And uh, they have learned and uh, realized lots of things through this. So when you put uh, your learning in practice, you change the, the way you learn. So it's a real nice one. Uh, I also have a blog with a friend. It's called Rescola. It's like reinventing the school. And it has started like, whatever, let's do it. And it started growing. 
and now people send us uh, their experiences in school and learning and whatever to share and it's like an open space to share if you have something and if you <laughs> want to share please send the uh, email and uh, we, you will be, it will be a pleasure to share so I also have my company it's called Idealiza uh, Ideation and uh, have worked in NRF it's like uh, the big uh, retail conf um, Federation, a national congress in New, uh, New York, and there we share, and we have done all these tables there with um, business people. They are not used to it, so uh, they have learned in a very new way for them, and it was really nice. Here it's Carlos and me. We are working very hard with uh, workshops in Brazil, and we have done like uh, more than 20,000 um, 20 workshops and more than 1,000 people, and it starts like a movement. So now people are asking us to, to do these workshops in design thinking in many areas, in education and in big universities and also in big inter, um, um, small inter interpreters and um, whatever, in many places, in many areas. And have you heard about design thinking? No? Yes? Some? Okay, uh, design thinking, you put knowledge into an experience. And here is an example, because uh, do, do you know uh, Ilha da Pascua? East Island, Easter Island. Uh, people used to live there, but somehow they disappear. And um, this is what is happening. Uh, we are growing, but sometimes we, <laughs> we have to see if we're right in our mindset, uh, because something we're doing wrong and we have to change it now, because in